Hi, I want to show you in this little video how to use View to make a concept map. In this case, we're going to make one about a stakeholder in the nuclear waste management process. So View is, stands for Visually Understanding Environment, a Visual Understanding Environment, I guess. And um, there's a lot of things we could do with it. We're going to use it at a pretty simple level here. And I've opened up the program here. You can see it has a menu bar across the top. And it has a number of uh, tools here. These are the ones we'll use, a selection tool, a node tool, and a link tool. And the way this works is that we simply click on the node tool and draw a little node in the center of the diagram. And let's say, and since it's all, the text is already highlighted, I, highlighted, I can start tech, uh, writing right away. And I'm going to call this Waste Control Specialists. This is a stakeholder in Texas that is volunteered, has volunteered to accept spent nuclear fuel for temporary storage for a price. It's a private company. So I've typed the name in here, and if I hit return, it'll just give me another line. So I don't want to do that. I just want to click outside of the box, and there's my first node. So with view, um, I've got this kind of target kind of crosshairs cursor right now. It doesn't really matter. I can move this node around wherever I want, or I can go up here and get my pointer and move it around with that too. So let's, um, let's think, let's make another node here and think about the kind of arguments this company would make in favor of a policy to allow them to accept spent nuclear fuel. I think they might argue, or they do argue, that will it, it will improve national security. Um, now they argue that because putting all the waste in one place is probably safer than putting the waste in a hundred different places around the country. Um, so if I just leave this as it is and click outside my node here, I'm going to get another long node. Um, just to show you, one of the things we can do is click um, there I had to click once to select the node and once more to select the text and then I could insert a return here and, and resize this node to be a little smaller, easier to work with. Um, okay, what's another argument they might make? They might may argue that it will um, promote nuclear, I'm going to put a return in here, power industry. Right? By having a place for the waste to go makes it easier to justify building more reactors. Um, I imagine they might tell the community that they will um, generate, generate local taxes. Right? So make a lot of payments to the local community. And I guess one more stakeholder here is that to whoever, whoever owns their capital, they're going to argue it's uh, going to be a profitable revenue stream. Good business to be into. So let's just work with these for a minute. Um, I've put down a couple of the arguments they might make. And now just one of the things we want to do with concept mapping is link nodes together. So we simply do that by selecting the link tool clicking on the node we want it to start with, and then dropping, hovering over the, this node, and then dropping the click to allow the label to, or the link to fall in there. And just do one more, select the link, click down onto the node I want to start with, drag it over to the node I want it to end with, and I'm still clicking down from when I started this arrow, now I'm going to let go of the click, and there's the arrow. Pretty simple. Um, and you'll see that as soon as I finish dropping this, it gives me the opportunity to add a label here. Um, so I'm not going to do that right now, but we'll talk about that later. Now, like I said, I, um, well, I've still got the node tool selected, so I need to go over here to select this cursor um, and get rid of this, because I don't want that there. 
Um, now I've got this cursor tool selected. I can move these things around however I want. I can make a nice a square thing. And um, I'll make it look good if I can. The other thing I can do here is um, start to add more nodes that flesh this out a little bit more. <coughs> um, so let's, for example, generating local taxes is a good thing, but I think they might also offer that um, this, why, why is generating uh, taxes a good thing? Well, let's make another node here and it will reduce reduce taxes on local citizens, right? That's one thing by them generating taxes will do. It will also allow them to improve schools and will allow the town to maintain roads. Or improve, let's say improve roads. So these again, let's put some links here between these again. Um, and since I've got the link tool selected, I don't need to reselect it every time. But I want to move things around, so I'm going to go select this one again. So these might be arguments for why generating taxes is a good thing. And they might even have. Um, they might have even, you know, more specific arguments or other things they say that they will do to, to generate tax revenue for the community. Um, all right, so let's just say, um, let's put another note out here. Um, alleviates, 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 how do you spell alleviate? alleviates <laughs> uh, pressure to store waste on site. Um, so that's one of the reasons why it will promote nuclear power. Um, I think it, you might argue that it also helps to what I would call destigmatize nuclear waste. In other words, if there's a community that feels it can be managed safely, maybe other people will come to also believe that it's not that dangerous. So here I'm just going back and forth between selecting my pointer tool and my node tool so I can move these things around. And I see I have a spelling error here, common. Fix it by doing that. So anyway, this is a bunch of things, and let's just look at how we can maybe do a little um, formatting of this. If you come up here to Windows, there's something called the formatting palette, number one. And this comes up, it's an abbreviated way to get some good editing features here. And again, I've got this arrow selected, and I can select a node by clicking on it. I can also select a whole box of things by just drawing a box around them. I could select all these things, for example. But let's just say I take this one and I want to fill it with a color. Let's say I want to make it yellow. And there, that's yellow. And if I want this to look pretty, I could give each of these a different color. National security, I'll make it purple. Generate local taxes, well it's money, it's got to be green. Uh, this is money too, so this is another green. Um, and then um, we can leave these white or whatever. But anyway, give some, we could color these all with the same green we used here just to show that it's all part of this theme. And that's useful when you start to get a complicated diagram that might have, you know, 30 or 40 nodes in it. Um, the link tools can sometimes, when we, we can add a label into this middle of this link. So if I select it and then I click again, the label comes up. And we can put in something in here that might make sense to help us understand the connection um, between 
between these two ideas. Waste control, argue, control sources argue that it will improve national security. I mean, this is a little bit trivial because you could say they argue that in each of these links. That's what the whole thing is about. But there will be times when it will be more helpful for you to give the links labels to help explain um, more about the connection between those notes. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out to you is um, arrows don't have to go one direction. If these two things uh, relate to each other, you can put an arrowhead on each end. Um, we can also change the nature of this line if we feel like it's a different kind of connection. You want to emphasize that there's a different nature to the links between these concepts. We can change the thickness of the line and you can change the color of the line. Um, no, that's not very pretty. So go back to black and small line. Um, now let's just say we found that there were some connections between concepts and uh, we wanted to connect them. We can go ahead, get the link tool, um, uh, so um, if we destigmatize, if we um, promote the nuclear power industry, we're basically also promoting our revenue stream. So these two things might also be connected, correct? Now that link doesn't look too pretty there. Um, we can select this link. Again, I have to go back and change the this tool. Select the link and I can change it to a curvy thing like this and change the inflection point to make it look a little prettier. And so this is a kind of like a feedback system. Maybe I'm going to make it a dotted line like this to show these things are connected. Um, if your diagram starts to get really big and doesn't fit on your screen, you come up here to Windows and select Panner. It produces this little mini window and you can just with uh, two fingers on my trackpad, I can push inward or push outward and get um, to see more or less of my diagram. And I can move my box around here so I can see exactly what I want to look at. It's just useful when your diagram starts to get really big. Okay, well that's a brief intro. I encourage you to make a um, colorful and well laid out map that doesn't look like a plate of spaghetti. Oh, and when you're done, you can save it as um, different formats. Um, I like saving it, well, vo both as a view file first. Um, and then I uh, also like to save it as a JPEG, just so that I have it, um, uh, so I can put it into cut and paste it into things, because view files you can't cut and paste into things. Nuclear stick holder. Example. Okay, great. Thanks for listening.